So I thought I'll have that, she'll like that. And I went, hey! That's not there, you take. Oh, wait, what's rubbish for me? Someone's left it here. So you're nicking stuff from the tip? Yeah. Hello there and do you welcome. Know, do you know what I like? Cold ears. Do you? How am well, I? Well, my mum, I know the baby, she's like, not... see, that one's warm. I don't like that one. I like that one. It's colder. Good, good. Come on, I'm here with uh, Neil Razor Ruddock, uh, football legend, Spurs, Liverpool, England, Millwall, England at every level. Thank you. Um, did, did that at Crystal Palace? QPR, alone. QPR, I remember that, yeah. Alone, Swindon? Yeah. Swindon, yeah, just, yeah. yeah. That's it, isn't it? That's better. I mean, not that, that's not. Great achievement, and here we are with, for Monday in the Brain, we're going to talk mundane stuff. Okay. Okay. Was well, in boring or no? Yeah, no, like, sort of... like the base, the, the simple things in life. But but the, the things that matter though. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah, yeah, I'm slightly easy your arm around me. I'll tell you Is why. Right? Because uh, when I was at Soccer AM, when we were doing Curl and Ginger, you once twisted my nipples live on the show, yeah. live on the show, and it was the most physical pain I've ever been in. No, but it's fine now. I like you. Yeah, okay. yeah that's, that's good. That's no, good. I've got I've got it out of my system. It's done. Okay. No, you're all right. What's the most physical pain you've ever been in? Um, this is catch, mundane. This catching just... me knackers in a zip. How'd you do that? Well, I just dummy Zipping flies up. up and zipped up and catch one of me knackers in there. That, that ain't good. I'll tell you what I don't like, kicking the... Like, when you've got no shoes and socks on, kicking the wheel on the bed, underneath the bed. I broke both my toes. Did you? On I was mean both. You've got both, both my outside ones. <laughs> you've only yeah, got you're two. Not gonna, you're not going to break the middle ones, the edge one. <laughs> but you broke <laughs> both your toes. That means you've only yeah, got two. Yeah, all right. Both you the toes two, are broken. Two out of me ten toes. Yeah, okay. That's I very mundane, I vote, wouldn't it? I vote, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so on. Um, let's get on to mundane stuff. Go on in. And Razor. First of all, supermarket loyalty cards. What are you, what are you got in your wallet? None. No, we've got the uh, Tesco's one that you, when they Club take cards. petrol. I've got a little one on my me, on me keys. Yeah. Um, um, I don't remember. We've got an Argos one, which is Have quite you? good at Christmas. You still use Argos? We use it very quick. When you've got yeah. Christmas, when you've got loads of family with kids, yeah. need nieces, nephews, 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 Get your Argos in there. We've done a shop in about an hour. Right, yeah. That's Got good. them all. Brilliant. And, yeah. they, and they put them in your car for you. And I have, do you know what? I've gone back to ordering things from Argos recently. Yeah. Because Sainsbury's have got Argos in them now. A lot of the time it's cheaper than Amazon as well. Oh, is it? Yeah. You shop yeah, around, look at Argos, people. You're, yeah. you're all right, yeah. Uh, uh, Sainsbury's got, now Sainsbury's, I, now I think Sainsbury's a very, very good uh, uh, supermarket store. Yep. And they wouldn't have Argos if they thought Argos were idiots, would they? No. They, uh, Sainsbury's are vouching for Argos, aren't they? They got to, or, or, or Argos vouched for Sainsbury's. I mean, what would come first? I don't know. Who do you reckon asked who? Do you reckon Argos went, yeah, we'll give you an hand? I reckon. And we come to your shop, or oh. did Sainsbury's go to them, we're going to give you an hand? I reckon Argos came up with it, because I think Argos need it more than, Sainsbury's. More than Sainsbury's, yeah. But don't say, ain't Argos, ain't, Argos ain't got really a, a, a rivalry, where your Sainsbury's got rivalries. They got the Tesco's, they got your. They got your what's it one called? Your Aldi and your and your Lidl. and your, your Aldi and your Lidl. Lidl's. Been to Lidl. Like Lidl. Lidl's good, great. Good meat in Lidl. But I think, see, I tiny think, cucumbers in Lidl. I I disagree. I think I think Sainsbury's went to Argos because Sainsbury's have got more rivals than Argos. And they thought this will take us apart. Yeah, but I don't you know. Just go maybe. one step ahead of Tesco's. Yeah. You what's Tesco right. short for? Ted something. Tessa Cohen. Is it? Yep. Is it really? Yeah. Tess Cohen, Tess and Cohen, Tess Cohen. Okay. Tess Cohen. What's Sainsbury's long for? JW Sainsbury's. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm glad we've had this conversation. It's good, it's good. Because I need to get the Argos out there. Yeah, good. Well, are you on a, you got like a deal with Argos or something? No. Nope. All right. Just, oh. a, just a fan. I'm just a big fan. Just a fan, yeah. Who isn't in, in are you this a fan modern of Argos? day? I am now, in the last. See, I'm a lazy. If you'd asked me six months ago, I'd have said no. Exactly, because the busier you get, the busier you get. You haven't got a lot of time yeah. nowadays. Yeah. Go and say, oh, Argos is there, and they bring it to you and put it in your car. Yeah, marvellous, wonderful. Okay, on to um, in-house mundanity. Yep. What are your chores that you enjoy doing? If you can, what are your favourite chores? Cooking. Do you? I cook, I love me cooking. What's your, what's your signature dish? Uh, Friday, Friday pasta, big boys pasta. I don't know, I'll do a dish. Oh, because I've uh, come second in Celebrity MasterChef this nice. year. So I've, loved, I've always been a good cook. I don't like cleaning up, I've got you know, dishwasher and that, and then my wife likes to clear up after me because I don't do it good enough. No? No. What's the, whole, what's the chore you hate doing? Is there something you can't stand? Um, gardening. Really? Mowing the lawn. 
Yeah, okay, that's not the best bit of the Because I'm too tall, the lawnmowers, I have to bend, I need a tall lawnmower. Yeah. Got, I, need, I might go to Argos, see if they've got a lawnmower that got an extension so that so I'm not bending oh, yeah. over too. Because when I'm bending, I'll get backaches, so I need a, so my back straight, I need to yeah, go to Argos. special custom lawnmower, don't Yes. You? What about other gardening stuff? You ever done any growing of things? Uh, my wife's into that because it's all like it's all seasonal stuff, and I don't get it what, what, what you trim or when when you plant things. So I will leave that to my. But she, you know, she she loves her gardening, but I I uh, don't like it. I want to get some astroturf, but she won't let me. Really? Yes, yeah, so you don't have to mow it. Mm, fair enough. And when the dog poos, you can just wash it off. <laughs> hose it down, get a pressure hose. Hose it down. <laughs> Yeah, no, fair shout. Is there any chalk? Argos do pressure roses. <laughs> do they? <Yeah. laughs> Definitely on a commission here. Definitely on a commission. Is there, is there any chore that causes arguments in your house? Um, 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 uh, no, no, she doesn't really have to let, be. No, she Domestic don't let mess. me do anything. She, I, I don't do it good enough, so she won't let me do it. Fair enough. Okay, on to the big issue that we, we're really into in this channel. Yeah. Bin day. What day is your bin day? Tuesday. And talk me through it. Tuesday, right, green bins, brown bins, uh, little brown black ones for the meat in. You got Donuts. a bin for meat? I got, yeah, we got a little one for meat, for leftovers, meat. Well, just meat? <laughs> Can't put any veggies. It's only about that big. What, you, you, just meat or all food? All, all like leftover meat. <laughs> is, it, is, it, I won't get it, is it just meat or is it vegetables too? I don't want to put my foot in and say it's both in case it ain't, but it's definitely for scraps, bones, meat. <laughs> so don't go smelly. So don't. <laughs> it's like you're in some kind of cartoon, like where dogs Well, that's what we do. We've got, it's, it's a little one. It's, it's, it's about that big. It's got, a, it's, got a, it's got, it's black with an orange lid. And just you put your scraps of meat in there. No, it's just stomach. This is unreal. Well, that's where she tells me to put it. Okay, so you got you got a meat bin. We've got a meat bin that comes out every other Tuesday. So that's black, yeah. black and orange. Black and orange. We've got a green one. What's green? I don't know if she tells me what one to put in. <laughs> is, that, is that plastics and cardboard? Do they? That's not your bin. Oh, day. and we got we got another one that's garden stuff. Brown. Okay. I think that's, that's brown. brown. And the dark grey ones every household. And then we got the meat one. Every Tuesday, but every Wednesday. If 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 we if, if we've got over like black sacks too many, sometimes I leave them on top of it at bin day, yeah. and they take them. Yeah. Some days they don't. Why not? Because they must be not Liverpool or West Ham fans. Right. Okay. Yeah. It depends who I get. Sometimes they just take them off and take the bin and leave that. Then I have to go to the tip. If you if you tip your bin men enough, they'll take away anything. They take away I, anything. I've tipped my bin men well, and they they take away a dead body if I put one out. Yeah. I reckon. I know a few people and they get yeah, yeah. a few people can help you need no, your help. Doesn't surprise me massively. Um what about um, What about your bin day? What day's your bin day? Uh Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah. So we've got How about when you have a bank holiday and it messes everything? Day up. after. Day after. See what I do as well, when she go put a bin out, I have to look what the neighbours what day it is, what colour they put out. So if the first if we all do the same, if the first neighbour put the wrong colour bin out, we're all f Yeah. So we've got we only have one bin day, we don't have we have bags, what? like it's the 80s. Where do you don't live in Kent then? I do not live in Kent. Where? Seven Oaks is the council. Wow, that's the poshest place in Kent. I know, that's why Near we don't... Near Old Tunbridge Wells. That's, yeah, well, yeah, that's why we and don't have... And you get bags? Yeah, but that's good. Is it? Because we don't have... You don't problem. have a meat thing? We can put unlimited bags out. What about, where do you put your spare meat then? I, well, I just put it... I put meat in, yeah. in the normal bin, but I've just got a wormery at home, so worms will eat my vegetable scraps. you got a wormery? Yeah. What's a wormery? So basically, I've only just started it. I'll show you a photo if you want. Well, how do you know it works if you just started it? Uh, well... Uh, where did you find that worm ring? You didn't buy that in Argos. No, I didn't. I bought it on the internet. Hang on. Where are we? So this is it. I'll put this photo up here. Um, yeah. There's a bit of mould. That's fine, though. And the worms the live in there. Then? The worms eat it. And the worms will eat that stuff, turn it into compost and put it in my garden. Where do you have that, then? Where's your worm ring? Kitchen. It stinks! Does You've it got stink? rotten food and worms in your fucking... It doesn't stink, because... In uh, your kitchen. You if you put meat in, a, it will stink. That is an elf issue. No, it's not. It's Why fine. not? How do you know? You just started it. I know, so far it doesn't. I've read it, I've read it online, though. I know about wormeries. Oh, come on, we had arms... Uh, <laughs> You've worked... But I, don't know, I know we're veering here, but... How do you... How do you study wormeries? You can look, type in wormery Where did it on come from? Why did you... Why did you type wormery in the internet? I was looking at a garden website, like Garden Supplies, I saw a wormery, work, and within about look, three minutes I bought stop, a wormery. Stop, let's go back, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. You look on gardening websites. Like to buy stuff for the garden, to like buy what? seeds and stuff, wormeries. Well, that's not Why for the garden. Why don't you just go down to local nursery? But like, kids' school. <laughs> <laughs> don't do worms, you get worms there every... Yeah. Um, I, I don't know, it's not, it's got not earthworms, wormery. I've got Why, a wormery. So why are you doing it, just to eat your spare veg? Honestly, because I've got a YouTube channel and I need to use some material, so I thought I'd build a wormery. Cause so just to make banter like this? Basically, yeah. 
it's quite good start. It works now. We've spoken about it. It's like Wormery's in my Argos. So you. <laughs> So you're going to be sponsored by Wormery. So when I can, I can get a Wormery brand deal, can't I? Like, because if you're what going, what would you call your Wormery? Like tubes, he's well, no, kind of filming there. He's he's going to golf. Tubes. It's quite a, it's quite a big niche yeah, to crack. Let's, let's, There's let's, no competition in Wormeries. <laughs> I'm already the biggest name in Wormeries. I've been doing it for a week. But you've got to name it. We Wormery. What is it? You can't be called the wor Wormery. It's got to be called. Well, what? They sell naming rights like they do at football stadiums. Yeah. Get the Etihad Wormery. So I see a good one. A good car cleaner the other day was called Spruce Spring Clean. <laughs> I've seen some good ones. Notting Hill Carnivore. Yeah, the um, best one. Another one is uh, the Concrete Man in, in, in the bat. In, I used to live in Battle, and it was uh, William the Concreter. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. William the Concreter. I mean, yeah. you've got to buy concrete off that man. Yeah, yeah, I'll go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. William the Concreter. Try and come out with the name for the, the Wormery then. No Wormery. So, but that's your question. Um, my bin day's like a bit of a free for all thing. The only thing is though, the recycling. We can't put glass bottles in. I've taken to a bottle bank. Yeah, I do that. But do I do, yeah, I do that. But just, just don't just, clink. When you go to sit, just don't clink. Don't clink. Yeah, so you yeah, chuck yeah. Them over. <laughs> clink, clink. They go, oh, oh, did they have a bottle in it? Sorry, mate. Yeah, fair enough. Because yeah. I find the tip stinks. I don't like to be outside the car too long at the tip because it gets it gets in your clothes and your do, pores. Do you know what I like about the tip? Is it's the only place you go to where the people who work there will just openly shout at you. Like you never go to a shop and someone no. just shout, "No, don't do that." But and they don't anything goes in the tip. Oh, my tip people are quite my nice. My tip... They won't they help carry his things. No, they just don't... Oh, really, really. I don't like if you dick things either. No, There's stuff don't. there that people thought, oh, I thought I'd have that. It was just, it was just like a metal what? thing for, for her to have to go. Like a hot holiday ho hose? Hose? Not hose. <laughs> got any hose? <laughs> got any, Do you not know what hose? Got any hose? An hose. Is it an hose? Like a diggy thing? A hoe? A hoe? Yeah. So I thought I'd have that. She'd like that. And I went, hey! That's not there. you take. I went, well, it's rubbish, mate. Someone's left it here. So you're nicking stuff from the tip? Yeah. What's going on? What's Wrapped happening? up Christmas, she was over the moon. <laughs> Told her I got it from Argos. Um, if you could have one person, an employee, yeah. to do one very specific job. So for example, for me, it wouldn't be cooking, it'd be chopping onions. Because chop a lot of onions, I get fed yeah. up with it. Yeah. What would be the one, one job that someone could do for you for the rest of your life? As in cooking? It could be anything. Anything, to, anything mundane. It could be ironing. I think... Um, oh. I think... Uh, Michael Van Gerwen said uh, wanted someone to do his hoovering because he's got dogs and they malt a lot. I'd like someone, so I've got a corn on the inside of my little toe. Okay. So, and, <laughs> it, and it's quite hard. Oh God. It's quite hard to put a corn plaster on your own corn because you've got yeah. to open your toes up yeah. and then stick it on before. Yeah. So I'd like, I'd like, I'd like. Imagine going down the job centre. Yeah. Okay, you're going to lose your benefits unless yeah. you take this job. But I, I would pay, I'd cook for them and take my Argos in it and play, play golf. But who would I like? <laughs> so, what, they have I'd to be like, heard on, on call at all times in case you need your corn pasta? Every pasting. two days. Every two days? Yeah. But you're going to take so a don't shower every, 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 shower every other, Sometimes shower every day. When you have a shower, it comes on. But say I shower every other day. Yeah. So when you, <coughs> it comes off, then you've got to dry it. See, it's another thing. You've got to dry it, make sure it's dry. Yeah. Because the corn pasta, you know the sticky thing with the hole in? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes that come off. So I need to employ someone to put that on every two days. So you're not working every day. And I'm not managing to take five minutes out of your day. What I pay expensive. What is a corn? I don't think I've had one. Corn is like an odd bit of skin you get. We know we toe. It's only my toes. is it? Where they rub together. Okay. So that bit there, and, it, and it's like a corn that grows in. Oh, it's painful. Is it? You have to have it cut out, but it's still there. So, yeah, so I'd, I'd deploy you just, you know, five minutes every other day. Say, Monday morning, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Yeah. No, have weekend off. Three so days get, a week. So it's a part time job. Monday, really. Wednesday, Friday, put me corn plaster in. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, uh, final bit then. We're going to talk motorway service stations. Razor, what's M6 your favourite? Toll. That's easy. M6 Toll. I do a lot of travelling. After dinner speaking, obviously, I, oh, you know, me and Shocker speaker. Yeah. I work, I do a lot of after dinner speaking and I do travel the country and uh, the M6 Toll because North the North and Keynes is that, I think? Going north, going north. Yeah. Just before the, the actual way you pay. Yep. You come off, go like that, and then the amount of times I come out there and gone the wrong way again, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah. what, what's so good about it? It is, well, it's got a big garage there. See, when you're dying for a poo, yep, which I normally am halfway there, yeah. I think I need a poo. Okay. When you go to the service station, normally it, you have to park up, walk in, but they've got a toilet in the garage just before the service station. Well, on the forecourt? On the, no, no <laughs> in the garage, right? So you right. can park right next to you can run in there and they've got four cubicles. Yeah. Normal garage's only got one cubicle yeah, yeah. and you don't want one cubicle because you don't like to make a noise. Sometimes you have to ask for a key as well. Yes, but this one's got four, so it don't matter, you just sit there and you can unload. No pressure at all. Then you can park up and just go and have something to eat. And as the doors open in the services, they got that um, Chinese noodle place. Oh, 
So you've only got to go there, get your food and back out to your car. You ain't got to walk around. Right. Senior services is a long yeah, walk yeah. around to the toilets, isn't it? Yeah. So you have your dump in the garage. Yeah. Yeah. Straight in there, get your noodles, Diet Coke, back in your car, up north. <laughs> wow, you've really That's, got life sorted. That, no, that is a great service. Oh, yeah, because oh, yeah, there's one, there's, um, what's the one in the M6? Come just go past there. That's not, not as good. They've got Kentucky on the other side. I'll start not, the first one in the M6. No, if I start the M6, is one. See, some I'll go speed past that okay. one because it's not yeah, as comfortable yeah, yeah. as. Right. Okay, have you ever been to T Bay up in is, is that, that, that's, that's a small one, isn't it? It's like an independent one. It's like it's a bit like sort of strange. A, an indie record label of services. Yeah, it's strange. A farm shop and it's stuff. It's very like. strange. Yeah. I've been there. That's right up there, isn't it? They've got like a sister one now. Um, um, Fleet's quite nice now. Fleet Services. They've changed that on the M3. Uh, yeah, we were there the other day, weren't we, Chief? That's yeah. quite a new Yeah, that's a good one. That's quite a nice one. Obviously, yeah. Cobham one, around near Cobham, that's a, that's a big one. That's a big one. You can't get part It's a long walk. Yeah, we went to, um, what's the one on the M25? Um, Clackett? Yeah, Clackett Lane the other day. Clackett, it's, it's old, Clackett's it's old. old. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's on the up, I think. They do, like, I mean, Maiston service is quite nice, just along here. Yeah, better than Medway. Oh, is that? I don't know. The Medway's the one, the M2, the, is it? M2 that's yeah, got that the Burger right? King on the top. Yeah. Now, there's one just for Nutsford. I think it might be Sandbanks. Sandbank. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sandbank, Sandbank. Sandbank. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. That's got a uh, Kentucky yep. in it. Yeah. So that's a nightmare. Because it says Kentucky, you pull in and you have to walk across the. That was the one. Tedderton, Todding, Toddington. To yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Toddington used to say, Kentucky, you pull in and it was on the other side and you had to walk across it. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. That was annoying. Yeah. You've got an exceptional knowledge of motorway service stations. I do a lot of travelling. I feel like I've met my, my do you know, spiritual. I don't know. No, I know them. And some I don't know the names, but some I know which one. Oh, now I talked about now this. We right when um, <coughs> me and my missus was going up north once, and she found a little caterpillar in the car. Right, okay. this is a true story. As I'm sitting here, I'm seems a weird thing to make up, so I trust it's true. We found a little caterpillar. Yeah. Right, in the car. So she had it, and we stopped at Toddington Services northbound. Yeah. Put it in the car and found a little bush, and we put this little caterpillar on the bush. Every time I go past, I look at the bush. So I wonder how that caterpillar is. This is a very different Neil Ruddock from the <laughs> one that we recognise. I look at the, the bush, pitch. and that's where we put that caterpillar. I thought, oh, I wonder how it is, because it must be into it. Is it a butterfly now? Oh, probably dead by Is that what they go into? Yeah. Maybe. But I'd saved his life, and, and there's a caterpillar bush. We always look that's at lovely. it in the wild. Yeah. Well, there we go. We've learned quite a lot about Neil Ruddock there. Highs and lows, really. One point, the man who saves caterpillars. Yep. Another one, a man who really steals from the tip. Well, I don't look into worms, though. No. I like my caterpillar. I'm not a worm. Anything you I like? I have a caterpillary. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, I do love it. Caterpill Could you read the caterpillaries? I don't know. Like, you start the first one. Well, like you start the wormery. Yeah, do it. You've got worms no, it, in yeah. your kitchen. Yeah. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Anything you want to plug while you're here, Razor, apart from our gosh? Um, Sainsbury's got a good shopping place behind there. If you go through Sainsbury's, there's a nice shop in the back. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> what a load of crap, that's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> that, was, that was that rubbish, that's going to be brilliant.